to think of detox as taking out the trash, right? And your liver has this really complex job of figuring out what to do with all these things that, that are coming through. So it's this prop detox is this process of getting rid of unwanted things. Maybe these things were at one point important and useful, but now they're not, and you got to get them out of the body. So this could be man, well, man-made toxins are generally never useful, but you know, when they get in the body, we got to have a mechanism for getting them out. So these are all the chemical compounds found in our cleaning products, personal care products, furniture, buildings, what's also in our air, soil, and water that are pollutants. Medications, you know, once a medication has entered, we have to have a mechanism for removing it. Hormones, same thing, you know, your hormones, if we didn't remove them, they would build up. So for example, estrogen, a lot of estrogens excreted through stool. This is why bowel movements are so important. So these unwanted things have to be um, changed or transformed into a molecule that the body can remove. So there's this transformation process that happens in the liver. And this is where we're going to focus to figure out how to help out the liver. So where does detox happen? Well, the liver is our main organ on de of detoxification. There's binding sites, foreign things will come into the body. The liver will bind these things up, figure out what to do with them, transform them, and then pass them off to um, eliminate them out of the body. But it is not our only organ of detox because our microbiome in the gut actually does a lot of detox for us. So um, those good, healthy bacteria that are thriving in your large intestine, part of what they do besides educating your immune system, producing neurotransmitters that help out our mood, they also can take medications and transform them, take man-made toxins and transform them and get them ready for removal from the body. There are other places in the body where detox happens, but these are the two main areas that we're gonna sort of focus on. So remember I said, once the liver or the microbiome does the transformation, then there's elimination. And this is the actual removal of the unwanted compounds out of the body. So um, this uh, is through several different routes. Um, so for example, urine is one way where many different compounds will exit. And this is why we wanna make sure you're always hydrated so that if you can produce enough urine, there's forward flow and, and those toxins that have been transformed can move and be eliminated out of you. Where else? Stool, right? This is another major route of elimination. So many toxins go out, um, uh, through stool, hopefully once, if not twice a day, if you're an overachiever. So it's really important to make sure if constipation's an issue that you treat it. When I have patients, they come in for mood. I ask them about their bowel movements. They come in for anything. I'm always like, well, are you having a bowel movement every day? Because it's an Im important process that makes sure things move forward and the gut actually stays healthy. Um, and then there's bile that um, comes from, um, is stored in your gallbladder and it's released into the first part of the small intestine. Its job is to help us with um, absorption of fats in our diet. And there, this is also another route that we can get rid of toxins. Um, and finally, sweat. This is why exercise is detox. This is why people go sit in a sauna um, to help them detox. Many compounds are actually removed more efficiently through sweat than even through urine or stool. Now, I always tell people if you're sweating as a form of detox, just make sure you have a towel with you and you remove um, uh, the sweat because you can reabsorb those compounds back through the skin.